okay, if you're playing this land is my land and you're at like a point like right now where I'm at where you have pretty much all the map thing is is there will be as you can see there's patrols everywhere and they're incredibly ex hard they were at 0% like a second ago and all of a sudden there's forts popping up which is only a level 2 which is not too bad but the last one I fought was like a level 4 or 5 or something like that we've got groups of men all over the place attacking and they will swarm you when you get late game if you're tired of it you can do um, there are a couple ways where you can get like god mode for the game one you have to use like a trainer but that you have to pay for this way I'm going to show you is free so what you want to do is get first thing you have to do is get yourself hurt so you can see here by the heart I'm at 921 so what we have to do is go over to cheat engine the program cheat engine and you have to get go into here and it's going to get your this land is my land and we want to do a first scan but we want to do first is do value type it's going to be floating it's a float value for your health so you want to do first scan under float value type it's going to give you a list of a bunch of numbers here got to go back over to the game hit unpause and then pause again because it's going to up your number now you got 927 so go back over to the cheat engine go to 927 and do next scan now it's going to give you these two values click both of them that's going to bring them down here you're going to want to do is hit activate on both of them and then right click and go up to change record go to value what it's going to do is let you do the do 1084 which that's your value that you have see how it's that's your top 1084 is the the most health you can get now we're going to do that on both of them 1084 okay now both of them are 1084 you can put description here if you want to but you don't have to but you do not want to close this because you have to have this running while you're playing if you want to have the god mode so now I'll go back to the game oh I already took him out we are close to the fort here so I'm gonna run over to the fort and show you how this works see how now all of a sudden my health says 1084 you can hit play and we're going to run over to the fort. I like to do the detect because then you can f figure out where everybody's at. Sounds like they're sleeping in there. Which is the perfect time to attack. Because you can sneak up them on in their, in their bed and intimidate them to leave. <laughs> See, I, I, it's hard to get to get yourself to let them know you're here because I need to show that I'm not going to get hurt if they do attack me but they are sleeping right now so I don't really want to there's somebody right there but... oh there's hey, hey, stop don't kill me Gonna not wake them up if we can help it. Just, just don't, don't do anything. No, I would wait, think I'll talk. I know where he... I would think that would wake them up. <laughs> Hearing a guy talking like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Stop! Don't kill me. That camp has vanishing guys in it. Oh, please, I don't want 
Every time somebody goes to that camp, I don't know if it's... I don't know anything else. There's animals or what's over there, why they keep disappearing from that fort. Or that base camp. That fort, this is the fort. One thing you want to kind of watch for is these lanterns. Because those you can make um, uh, gunpowder packs, like big ones, where you can put on timers. I've never actually been able to get to them all when they're still sleeping. Stop, please. I don't want to die. I, I, I... Uh oh, somebody saw me. about them. about making them leave that other region hey over there enemy guys they're here i got to get down got to get to that leader before somebody else comes over to try to kick me off of them hey i know you're there yeah, see, I keep getting warriors released from jail to that to that camp, but they always get taken out. Funny thing is, I really didn't even really need the <laughs> to have God mode on for this camp. The last camp, they just swarmed me. There was like 30 of them around me. This one, I pretty much took the camp out pretty quick. Get ready. There must be Here some guys riding in or something. Yeah, Shoot horses. Yeah, probably a patrol coming in. You always want to check these uh, patrol guys because they always have pretty good stuff on them. Well, I guess not. <laughs> not that time. Sometimes they do. And the other thing you want to watch for inside these camps in the loot. I guess it's groceries for one, because uh, I've been having problems with getting the camp warriors to update or like get higher skill levels. They're always like level one. What you want to look for in these is groceries, and I like to look for uh, wrenches and shovels, because if you have a sh fort that they have the fort door closed, the gate closed, you need to have a shovel to try to dig under. You run along the edges of the the fort and find places where you can dig through. And the wrench is for taking out the train. You cut down um, logs that surround the train. That is over. That goes over the the train track. They'll drop and fall on it. 
stopping the the train from getting through. Yeah, it's very seldom do you actually find a wrench. I think I've only found like three of them. So you want to be sure to check, try to check as much as you can. Figures it's dark, so it's hard to see. Machine oil, that might come in handy. And a lot of different of these gun parts if you're trying to build better weapons and stuff. I'm hearing horses, so I must have another patrol moving in on me. Yep, I do. A lot of them. This will kind of give an idea of how... get up to the guy on the horse you can actually pull them off like that hey, over there. Enemy. tried to get him oh I didn't want to kill him oh good no I didn't kill him did it shoot I didn't want to do that I was trying to get him to drop off of his horse I saw Oh, there he is. Because if you kill them, then it just makes their awareness of you even more. You want to give them a little time to interrogate, too, because then they can give you more information. There's a wrench. That's a good one to have if you're trying to take out trains. that patrol is gone. Okay, let's get in the middle here before I end this little trilogy or tutorial here. We're going to burn this camp. I had just figured this out like two days ago. I was just getting so frustrated with constantly being swarmed and not being able to get away from them. They just surround you and take you out like instantly. So it started getting old to if I was about ready to stop playing completely. So I figured doing it this way it keeps interest in the game. Because I want to get to the point where I can win. Even if it has to be through using God mode. Because the game is pretty much impossible at some points. Uh, okay, well, hopefully this helps you out. Have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you in the comments. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.